644 is your time now taking a live look at the nation's capital this morning. Washington, D.C., of course. Brilliant sunshine there. Cool, though, start. Temperatures in the 40s this morning. They've actually had a pretty good cold snap over the last uh, week or so. Starting to see some rebounding there, but a beautiful look there uh, across the northeastern U.S. So we've got a little bit of fog out there this morning. Not a lot, but there is some as you go up Highway 281, 77. Uh, we've seen just very light fog. You kind of see it off the horizon for the rest of the valley. And also we've seen some of that out towards South Potter Island. So just be aware of that, especially as you go north away from the valley this morning. So clouds around today. They'll break up a little bit this afternoon. We'll see some sunshine peeking through. Uh, temperatures, they're still up around 90, if not slightly higher than that across the area today. Winds will be fairly light out of the east-southeast at about 5 to 15 miles an hour. Eh, maybe at times gusting up around 20, but the winds are not going to be a real big factor across the area for today. Now, late tonight, early tomorrow morning, there could be a couple of storms coming off the mountains of Mexico that may make a run for the upper valleys of Pata and far western Star County. We'll keep a rain chance there at about 20% late tonight. But for the rest of us, maybe a couple little isolated uh, morning showers. You get sometimes a lot of the humidity in place, but then this afternoon, it'll all be just a dry, humid, warm day ahead. Out on the bay, light chop this morning, going to moderate chop this afternoon. Bay water temperature is at 80 degrees. The surf is at 77 degrees, looking at a low rip current risk today in that surf running two to three feet. As far as pollen is concerned, we've got tree and grass back down to medium from high yesterday, and ragweed's gone from medium to high, so kind of a reversal there. But either way, this is still causing some issues. And we still have a little bit of an air quality issue for today as well. The weekend looking great, although it's going to be hot. Look at those temperatures in the 90s, but feeling like well above 100 especially starting tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, you know, the early part of next week, 80s out on the island, breezy conditions as well, and the breezy conditions start Saturday also. And really no big change in the pattern, a lot of lower 90s, mid 90s out there all through the next seven days, and all that humidity coming in off the Gulf of Mexico and from the rain that we've had is going to make it feel a lot hotter than that over the coming day, so make sure you stay hydrated, check that back seat. Now is the time to go ahead and get back into that routine of making sure that you know all those heat safety rules out and about. There's a look at your traffic out there this morning. So far looking really good on the roadways. That's the interchange there in Harlingen. In fact, there's one car. Oh, there's this some more in the distance. <laughs> another one. Uh, so far, pretty quiet there and really not that bad there at Victoria Road and Interstate 2 there in Donna. Uh, there are some folks out there, but we've seen it sometimes worse than that. Interstate uh, 281, 69C there at Sioux Road. That is looking up towards the interchange. Uh, there in uh, far and then looking good on the island. The light is back to red, so there's one car. No, there's a lot of folks yes. I've been seeing going across the island because <laughs> it is going to be a beautiful Great weekend. day and weekend, yes, to be out on the coast. Yeah. Enjoy.